Hafa day everybody and welcome to the special TV presentation for the KUM Sports Charity Golf Tournament which benefits the Guam Bookmobile. You are in for a real treat today sports fans and my friends because we are proud and privileged to bring to you exciting golf action here at the Onward Talafofo Golf Course. It's not exactly the pristine island weather that we're used to over here. It's very overcast, kind of cool, maybe the temperature around 77, 78, but the golfers are very, very excited. You're going to meet many of them, find out what they're all about, how they approach the game, approaching today's unique conditions and everything. And this is all going once again to a very, very worthwhile cause here in our island community, the Bookmobile. Now we here at KUM are proud once again to bring it to you. And over the course of the next program, you will see those golfers and the course will introduce you to each one of the golfers and the holes. So stay tuned, we got a really good show coming up. This is the KUM Sports Charity Golf Tournament from the Onward Telefofo Golf Course. Welcome to God's Country. We're in the heart of Telefofo, about 15 minutes outside the bustling activity of downtown Hagatnya, but nestled comfortably between every single shade of green, blue, and brown that the eye can dream of, with lush natural splendor only conceivable in the imagination, and with the type of golf course that only the very best to ever play the game could design. The Onward Telefofo Golf Resort is a favorite for golf enthusiasts looking to spend several unforgettable hours out on the links, making the perfect challenge for locals, military and tourists alike, and an affordable treat for new players, young and old, looking to pick up the game. It's engineered to take advantage of Guam's pristine Pacific surroundings and provide year-round playability. The Onward's front nine offers a picturesque array of man-made lakes, fountains, and overpasses with dog legs and hazards guarding some of the most beautiful greens that you'll ever play, all offset by the cool ocean breeze nearby. This is contrasted by the back nine being carved out of a rolling natural southern mountain range and enveloped by the dense jungle providing daunting fairways that pose a formidable challenge for even the most experienced golfer. It's the ultimate contrast of form and function designed by nine legendary PGA players including Sam Snead and Ben Hogan. The American style course was reborn in 2006 and has been serving would-be champions ever since. It includes those 23 teams that are playing for us now. We're playing best ball for the KUM Sports Tournament. Each two-person team golfs with the player closest to the cup representing his team. And now there are several distinct bonus holes throughout the course that provide an extra incentive for today's players and some additional challenges that we'll be throwing at the competitors. The teams will start staggered, teeing off at their assigned holes at the stroke of high noon. They'll play the course out of sequence and that may prove to be an advantage to some of the lesser experienced athletes, so keep that in mind as we move about the course. The proceeds from the tournament will benefit the Guam Bookmobile, giving the children of the island the chance to discover an entirely new world through literature. The Bookmobile makes frequent stops to various island villages and the hospital, happily delivering to anybody the joy to discover an amazing story through the power of books. If you'd like to contribute to the project, you can find more at any of Guam's public libraries. What do you think about today's conditions and how do you think you'll shoot, given that it's a little bit cooler? To this it. is nothing to the game. To it. If it bothers you, then you're not a player. No, it's not the length of the fairways. What's the challenging part is the uh, the narrowness of the fairways. You got to play the course. If you don't play the course, you're going to be in trouble. So you have to play each shot, every shot, uh, what you see. Hit what you see. You know, just hit hit as far as you can see, and that's about it. Where are you guys from? Uh, well, we live here in Guam, stationed here, uh, from Texas originally. Okay. Georgia. All right. Massachusetts. All right. Texas. Yeah. Alabama. How do you think today's uh, conditions are going to affect your game and how are you guys looking forward to playing the course? As long as the greens are a little bit slower than they normally are out here, we'll be okay. It's usually glass. No, everything's going to stick now that it's nice and wet, so it'll be interesting. I'm just not really that good, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good conditions to be out there. You're not going to get yeah, sunburned, obviously. Even, no. <laughs> how about you, sir? I'm with him on the sticking part. I don't think it was going to affect too much. It'll even out a little bit. That's about it. You don't mess with Texas, especially in golf and everything. So are the two Texans going to, like, you know, gang up on everybody else? Uh, no. Um, you know, the two guys that are dressed like they're teammates. <laughs> uh, I've got Mr. Alabama as my teammate, so All right. we're good. Okay, so you're doing a whole golf course thing almost? Or? Yeah, well, we're trying to. Keep the Southern boys together. All right. Okay, so good luck to the Massachusetts guy. Good. I got a Michigan guy on my team, so I'm all set. <laughs> I'm just going to throw golf clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're wearing like a Navy shirt and everything. You're representing your uh, fellow sailors? 
I am today. Hopefully we do pretty good and win. Never how do you know how do you normally shoot? Decent in the eighties. So he's about the same, if not better than me. We'll see. Okay. Have you played the onward telephone course before? I have not. So we just I moved here about six months ago, so it's the first time I'm playing out here. Okay, well welcome welcome to Guam. We're glad to have you and everything. Good luck on the course today. Okay, how, all right, how, how about you, sir? What are you looking forward to, you know, given the uh, conditions right here and, you know, the rain's going to be, or the grass is going to be a little, little bit slicker than normal? Yeah, it'll be all right. I mean, we're just here to have fun, so it's not, it's not that big a deal. I'm not heartbroken about it. What does it mean to you and, you know, to be playing with other Guamanians and a bunch of bunch of good people just coming out here and have a good time and be able to uh, put the money to a good cause? Man, this, for me, this is this is a way to get out. I'm, I'm here to have fun, and um, I, I, I like all the faces I see. You got, you got all, all wide ranges of people here, and... You know, despite the weather, right, we're going we're gonna to have a lot of fun out there. Are you from Louisiana? I was born in Baton Rouge. Okay, excellent. Okay, excellent. So have you played the onward uh, telephone course before? Last weekend. I don't know. Yes. Okay, uh, well, the conditions, I would say, are a little bit different than, uh, than right now and everything. How are you expecting to play today? <sighs> I don't know. I, I, we, we are still, we're just working that out. <laughs> we're going to try to putt good. Uh, we're just going to do our best in scoring. I don't know. Reach the green in two and putt from there. See how we can two putt out? We'll be all right. Is the fact that the, the maybe the air is not going to be like as thick or as humid as it normally is, is that going to affect your choice of clubs? Or? I'm not Tiger Woods, man. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter with us. It doesn't matter what club we hit, what ball we hit. We try to keep it in the middle. Try to keep it in the middle. Okay, can we get a go? Can we get a go Tigers for me since we're wearing the color? Go Tigers! <laughs> what does it mean to you to be able to come out and you know to to contribute to such a worthy cause here for the KUM Sports Charity Golf Tournament? Uh, well, it means a lot, man. Uh, we we like to come out and just enjoy ourselves and. Uh, you know, just participate on every, uh, I guess, donation we can or do whatever we can to just support uh, the event. Yeah. yeah, we're in for the raffle flight, definitely. <laughs> so, so we're chipping in as much as we can and, and see if we can win something there. Yeah. All right, nothing wrong with that. As, you know, a man who knows what he wants and everything. So, you know, um, Ken, you, you've been involved with uh, billiards for so long and everything, and I've, I've known you ever since, you know, middle school and everything like that. What are, what are some of the differences fundamentally between lining up the perfect shot when you're on the pool table and lining up a perfect shot when you're out there facing the fairway? Uh, well, as far as billiards, you, you're able to use both, uh, both, uh, I guess, uh, coordination, eye coordination, left and right. With, uh, with golf, it's pretty much just your lower level or whichever hand you are, you got the right level, you got left level. I mean, it's just, it's totally different game. I mean, if I can lay down on the green and shoot, I'm one putt all day. Bro. <laughs> and that is gonna be it, my friends. It is time to golf. So we're rolling out and there's lots of action from the links straight ahead. So don't you move a muscle. The KUM Sports Charity Golf Tournament Special returns right after this.